Sunita Williams, Astronaut Marathon Runner in Space, by Nola Taylor Tillman, published August 21, 2007. Presented by Ananda M.B. Sunita Williams always loved adventure. Born on September 19, 1965, in Euclid, Ohio, a region in United States. She grew up in a home full of science. Her father was a neuroscientist, and her mother worked as an X-ray technician. As a child, Sunita dreamed of becoming a veterinarian because she loved animals. But life had a different plan for her. A new dream begins. Sunita's older brother joined the U.S., Naval Academy, and encouraged her to follow. She loved sports and outdoor activities, so she took his advice. In 1987, she graduated with a degree in physical science and became a helicopter pilot. She flew helicopters in places like the Mediterranean, Red Sea, and Persian Gulf during Operation Desert Shield. Later, she trained as a test pilot, flying different military helicopters. One day, she decided to apply to become an astronaut. But she was rejected. Instead of giving up, she worked harder and earned a master's degree in engineering management. She applied again, and in 1998, NASA accepted her. Reaching for the Stars After years of training, Sunita was ready for space. On December 9, 2006, she blasted off on the Space Shuttle Discovery for her first mission to the International Space Station, ISS. She spent 195 days in space, setting a record for the longest spaceflight by a woman at the time. Sunita also performed four spacewalks, spending 29 hours and 17 minutes outside the ISS. She loved space, but also found ways to stay connected to life on Earth. A marathon like no other. Sunita was a runner on Earth, and she didn't stop in space. While aboard the ISS, she participated in the Boston Marathon by running 26.2 miles, 42 kilometers, on a treadmill. She completed the race in 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 10 seconds, making history as the first astronaut to run a marathon in space. That wasn't all. She also participated in a triathlon, swimming, biking, and running while orbiting the Earth. A kind heart in space. Sunita didn't just break records, she also gave back. While in space, she cut her long hair and donated it to Locks of Love, a charity that provides wigs for children who have lost their hair due to illness. Even in space, she found a way to help others. A leader among the stars. In 2012, Sunita returned to space and became the commander of the ISS, making her the second woman to lead the station. She continued inspiring people with her hard work, bravery, and kindness. Her journey teaches us an important lesson. Never give up on your dreams, work hard, and always find ways to help others, no matter where you are, even in space. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update.